Okay, let's talk about the chest. Now we have two pec muscles. We have the pec major and the pec minor. I'm going to talk about the pec major because that's the one we're all training in the gym. Go ahead and pull up that picture there labeled number one of the pec major. Now there's three divisions to the pec major. We have the clavicular division that attaches to the clavicle, the sternal division that attaches to the sternum and the arm, and then we have the costal division down low. Now all of these fibers come together and attach on the outer portion of the arm. Now take a closer look at that picture. Can you see how the fibers actually cross over each other? The clavicular fibers that are high attach lower on the arm, and then the lower fibers attach higher on the arm. Now this is very important when it comes to training the chest. Most people are just pushing straight out and you're really just activating the upper fibers of the chest. You want to drive through the nipple line. The nipple is just about center of your pec major muscle. So it's important to drive through that nipple line. You see, as you drive through, you kind of arc forward instead of just pushing straight ahead. Now it's important to remain in proper posture while lifting. Your butt out, nipples out posture. I talk about this in my posture series and through all of my series on how important it is that you maintain proper posture. And by doing that, that's how you're really going to be able to hit these, these pec muscles. Now the way you position yourself on the bench is very important. Go ahead and pull up that picture number two of the pecs and the lats. Now, these muscles look almost the same, and they attach at about the same place on the arm. I hope you watch my back series and learn how the glutes and the lats actually support your lower back because they're also going to help support the curve of your lower back and your ribs while training the chest. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here we are on the bench. Here's what I see most people, you know, a lot, most people are back here on their toes. Now, if you're back here on your toes, you can't get any support. Your body's all moving around. You can't have your chest up. You don't have any support here. So it's important that you get the knee and the ankle in line when you're on the bench. You don't want your feet to be way back here because you want to push through that center heel. As you push through that center heel, you're going to actually contract your glutes, and that's what's going to hold you down in that position and allow that, that back to be arched. You see, as I push through there, as I push through that center heel, I'm not lifting myself off the bench. I'm kind of pushing up this way. The glutes are contracted. They're holding me tight there, supporting my lower back and allowing me to have these ribs up high. Can you see that? So you want to push through the center heel. Have you guys seen power lifters lift before that have a really large arch back? But their butts can't come off the seat. We're not pushing ourselves off the seat. You don't want to be back here where you have a flat back. Look what happens here. You're going to come down. First, you don't want to get these elbows past the armpits. Now you've strained your chest and then you're pushing. You know, the object is to bring the muscle, the two portions of the muscle closer together. If you're pushing and your chest is going this way, the fibers are actually getting further away. So get the knee and ankle in line down there so you can push through that center heel to help you contract those glutes and have that low back arch. And that's going to help you have that chest high. And that's also going to help give you momentum. Those ribs are going to help give you momentum to push through there. So here's what you want to do. As I come down, I want to think of pushing through with those, raising my chest up like my chest is meeting the weight. So you never want to get the bar to the chest. No matter how you are, the elbow is going to be way past the armpit and you've got the rubber band stretched too far. The pecs are stretched too far and this is how you're going to hurt your shoulder. So what you want to do, push through that, make sure those glutes are contracted. Inhale on the way down, reach those ribs towards and you're going to drive through. So each time I want you to be arcing. If you see from the side there, watch how the ribs come down and I actually arch through. I arch through. You don't just hold it up high here and push. It's the motion of coming down, reach that chest up, oh, and drive through. See, I'm still pushing through my legs here. Inhale on the way down. I'm going to stretch my body up towards the bar and push through. So positioning yourself on the bench is very important to maintaining proper posture while you lift. 